What's going on everybody? Tim Aradichek here to show you how to prank one of your schoolmates or maybe your little sister or your grandmother on their desktop for Windows 7. So first what you're going to want to do is take a picture of the desktop itself. Now to do this you're going to want to find an empty space on the desktop, click left click anywhere and make sure you don't have one of these little boxes around your icons by opening up a browser and then closing it real fast. So then you can just control print screen. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up the paint application and then paste your print screen there. Give it a once over to make sure there's no anomalies here. Uh, the last thing you want is something that tips them off, that there's some shenaniganery happening here. So go ahead and save the uh, bitmap you just made. Uh, I'm going to name it here Desktop Prank. And save it in your pictures folder as a 24-bit bitmap. Okay, when you're done with that, go ahead and close that out. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is create a folder here. Uh, this is to put all the uh, desktop icons in this folder because you're going to need to hide them later. Uh, because once you see the final product, you're going to understand why. So go ahead then and highlight all the icons on the desktop. And then you're going to want to cut and paste here. If you copy and paste, you're going to leave them with a little bit of trouble and you're already kind of pranking them so you don't want to give them any more, um, any more to work with once you leave here. I've got this crazy icon on my desktop that doesn't allow you to um, cut it or delete it so I'm going to leave it here but you know it's something that doesn't typically get used so we're gonna have to work around this so everything else will be in your desktop icon folder here and you're gonna want to go ahead and cut this and put it somewhere where you're gonna want to be able to find it just put it right there in your pictures folder directory this way you got all your icons and then you got your bitmap right there so go ahead and double check make sure all the icons are there All right, go ahead and close that out. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is unlock the taskbar. Now what this does is it allows you to move the taskbar to any of the four locations on the window. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and put the auto hide feature on by right clicking the, the taskbar and going to the properties menu. Now by doing this, it auto hides the taskbar if you're not uh, hovering over it with your cursor. So you, as you can see, I'm doing that here. Now, what I'm going to do is move the taskbar to a different location, preferably to the right side of your window. Now, watch what happens. Once you click on your desktop, it vanishes. Now, you've got pretty much a blank desktop with only... What you will only have is your recycle bin. I've got that stupid Bluetooth icon there because I can't get rid of it for some reason. Now, what you're going to want to do is change your desktop background. You go into the properties menu here and then you scroll down to uh, your picture library and right there in your first because I didn't have any uh, files there it'll be right there so go ahead and double click that and now you're almost ready <laughs> see I can't get rid of that for some reason so it's a big pain in my behind but the only icon they're gonna be able to access here is the recycle bin None of the things in the taskbar are highlightable and uh, people who aren't very aware or familiar with Windows 7 or just computers in general are going to be baffled by what just happened here. You can't do, if, you, if, you, if you're not smart enough to hit the Windows key on the keyboard, you're not going to know what the hell is going on here. So sit back and relax and enjoy this sabotage you just created. <laughs> That's it for me. I'm Tim Aradichek. Thanks for watching.